Hi guys, Glory Hunter back with a, a new twist on her video and today we're going to be looking at my Steelbook collection uh, featuring DVDs and Blu-rays, predominantly Blu-rays, uh, Steelbooks that I have in my collection. Um, this is something that a few people have asked for, things that people wanted to see. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have in my collection. There's a, a few, quite a few exclusives uh, from various places such as Xavier HMV and um, yeah some quite rare ones <clears throat> so we'll take a look at what we have not in any particular order like alphabetical or anything loosely based genre and some that I still need to put in the collection so some sequels and stuff aren't together but we'll get through them as we go so first of all the only DVD steelbook I have and it's the Hancock steelbook um, to this special edition this is the only steelbook that I've ever seen in um, DVD form. So there we are, we have our two discs there, a nice kind of, okay, it's a bit in a weird angle, so nice back picture there as well of Will Smith's Hancock in the ground, on the back. So yeah, there is our first edition. So our only DVD steelbook. Now I know some of these films people might not like or whatever. That's down to personal preference. This is just what I have in my collection. Some nice, really nice steelbooks, and some of them aren't particularly great. But there we are. There is our Spectre. See the 007 James Bond on the back. The uh, the bullet hole with the Spectre coming down. Nothing particularly on the inside on that one, quite bland. Then we have our Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice 3D, We've got the Batman on the front and the Superman on the, the back which is kind of rotated so you flip it so you can have obviously either way be in the front or the back. Then we have our Wonder Woman Steelbook. Back. Quite a nice one. These ones that I've recently watched, so they're still kind of fun to display. So, a 4K one, so now they're starting to come in 4K as well, obviously, with it taking off. So, we've got Spider Man Homecoming. Yeah, Spider Man Homecoming. And on the back, nice picture. Of the vulture like Spider Man in with that is kind of Tony Stark suit. That's what this one has. And this one actually came with a comic book, which is quite nice. So, a unique Spider Man comic. You can't really see because of the discs. If we take out, obviously, you get three versions of the film standard Blu ray 3D and the 4K. We'll take all our discs out finally. Our Spider Man on the inlay. There's quite a few steel books I didn't manage to get as well, um, which is always a shame. There's our Assassin's Creed. And the back, the back of our Assassin's Creed just has the logo, and the inlay on this one actually has the assassin jumping off the building. We recently watched the Expendables trilogy back to back, so we've got these near the front. So there's our Expendables 2. I did miss out on the Expendables 1 um, steelbook, which is a bit of a shame. There's the back. And the Expendables 3. Nice blue around the schools on this one. Little slice Sloan on the back. Back this one actually has on the back. Sorry, the inlay on this has a nice picture. All three of them, all three of them, has a nice picture of the cast there. 
big cast in these films. I like the expanded films quite. Like they are a nice classic kind of 80s action, bringing all the old stars back. So we have our Man of Steel steelbook. Playing back, but obviously the classic front. We have our Superman inside. And we have our Dark Knight Rises. Really like this one. Just snowy background, but yeah, the old back mask. Front is nice. And and the inlay just has the mask with Bane walking away inside there. Next up we have our Suicide Squad. Nice colourful kind of comic booky artwork on this one. It's a nice one. Didn't mind the film. Shame they cut a lot out. And on the back of a bell. Death to his part special security barracks. And the inlay as the cast of anti-heroes if you like inside. Moving on we've got the Green Lantern came in a triple plate and it just has his speech kind of like on the back saying and inside we've got the Green Lantern core quite a nice inlay yeah, the main problem with this one is that triple plate is part of the, the, the steel book, whereas on others, obviously, you get that slip cover that comes off. So, next up, we've got X Men Days of Future Past. A robot on there. Here's a slip. Just the task logo on the back. And the only has a simple kind of robot side. So we have the amazing Spider-Man. I actually really like these Spider-Man films. Shame we never got the, the trilogy. Just a classic. There we are. Opens up to one big picture. A nice simple inlay. Obviously the amazing Spider-Man 2. Looking at a electrode. Nice back on this one. Yeah, electrifying inlay. We have our Avengers. Shield logo, the Avengers logo, and inside all the Avengers there in that battle phase. We have our Thor one, which I nearly missed out on to be fair, and then managed to get it. I was quite happy with that. Scenes on the back. Thor with his hammer stuck in the mud on the inlay. X Men Apocalypse. Slip cover. Just symbols on the back. And inside just has highly glyphics. The Wolverine. Love that picture on the back. Really good one. Sword and his claws are kind of silver, react to the light. And the inlay. Guardians of the Galaxy. One of my favourite Marvels. Really enjoyed this film. And the kind of steelbook is the uh, cassette player. The nice picture of them there. And inside a nice retro picture of all the Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. See Baby Groot with a button. Do not push. Plain background. A good front. And our Guardians on the inlay. Captain America, First Avenger. Cap shield with a few pictures on the back. And a picture of Cap and his team back in the day. Iron Man 3. 
nice simple kind of new reactor on there but a really good picture on the back of Iron Man and his set of suits there bursting out of the water and the Iron Man suit with the rest of the suits in the background on the inlay shame it's right in the, the middle Hitman Agent 47 obviously his back of his head with his barcode on the back and it kind of high rises which is kind of like his tie there on the front or is he Hitman at the bottom and just a simple 47 in the back Sin City 2 cast of characters on the inside Red 2 oh, these are great films there's the back from there the best never rest it simply says Red 2 on the inlay the Green Hornet yeah, nice back with the car and the car again on the inlay. Silent Hill Revelation. A nice twisted nurse on the back. Resident Evil Vendetta, one of the uh, new CGI films. One of the big enemies there on the back is Gatling Gun. We've got Chris and Leon on the inlay. Better look at the full case there. Resident Evil, the final chapter. But is it? Here's <laughs> Jozevich there on the back. The old Alice character. This one came with a weird kind of pocket DVD. Rather than having two spaces. But yeah, there is our inlay. Resident Evil Retribution. The inlay there. And Resident Evil Afterlife. The Resident Evil films do make good steel books. Great back there with the uh, massive axe guy. And one of the enemies on the inlay. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Looking forward to the next one. Captain Phasma on the back. See Kylo Ren on the front and the Millennium Falcon on our inlay fighting the TIE Fighters. Universal Soldier Day of Reckoning with Scott Adkins there on the back who I have met and trained with. Awesome guy. I've got something coming up for you later actually a special uh, steel book that I actually got from Scott. And the inlay Scott Adkins facing off against Dolph Lundgren. Great guy. Pixels, so a nice Pac Man front cover. And Donkey Kong there on the back, throwing his barrels. That's a pretty cool retro steelbook. And the inlay, we've got kind of centipede going over Big Ben and the House of Parliament. And an enemy there over, I think, Paris. It's a pretty cool retro steelbook. Jurassic World. Really enjoyed this. Really looking forward to the next one. Just a few dino scratches there on the back. And our inlay, Chris Parat with the Velociraptors. And there's blue in the middle. The Great Wall. Really enjoyed this film too, actually. And there's the back. Actually, wall being attacked. And our inlay is them on the hot air balloons going over the, the province. Edge of Tomorrow or Live Die Repeat. The film actually had two names for some reason. Emily Blunt there on the back. A nice battle scene invading the beach there on the inlay. Transformers Age of Extinction. The Dinobots. Nice Autobot symbol on the back. Kong Skull Island. Interesting to see what they do with all these monster films. See, we've had Godzilla, there's our back. 
and the inlay one of Kong's parent schools obviously we just mentioned it there's our Godzilla so in the same universe as the new Kong a ruined city for our inlay the Godzilla spikes come out the top dawn of the planet of the apes front and back and two more on the inlay Taken three. And the inlay. Jack Reacher, never go back. The back. And the start of the movie kind of seen there on the inlay. After his beat everyone up. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Characters there on the back. A few screenshots there on the inlay. A good day to die hard. It's like the fifth film. So back. And John McLean on our inlay. London has fallen. A bigger picture one. And London pretty much on fire there. Not for the first time. Non stop. William Newson. And the inlay. Riddick. Nice gold case. And Riddick on the inlay. Machete. Tani Treo. And all his nice and machetes on the inlay. Robocop. See the newer one. There he is in his black suit. It's pretty cool. And him on the table on the inlay. Dracula Untold. Front and back. I actually thought this was quite similar to a Castlevania style film. So there's our inlay. Wrath of the Titans. Really cool steel book. A pretty cool inlay as well. Pacific Rim. Really enjoyed this film. Can't wait for the next one. That's finally coming. A pretty cool inlay as well. One of the Jaegers fighting off against the monsters there. Battleship. Actually quite enjoyed this as well. That's a pretty cool back. And the inlay. <laughs> Bloody Rihanna. The Maze Runner Scorch Trials. Pretty basic one. And the Maze Runner. A little bit better one on this one. Prometheus. And the inlay, there's an alien egg there, don't even know how well you can see it. Priest. Pretty cool. And inside. So the Hobbit. Gandalf. And the map of Middle Earth in the inside. The Hobbit Desolation of Smaug. Pretty cool back with the three L's. And this one actually has a centre disc, so we'll just put that there. You can see our inlay with Bilbo and the spider's webs. And the Hobbit Battle of Five Armies. 
And once again we have a center disc, obviously these are the extended versions, so obviously there's four discs. And there is Lake Town on Fire on the inside. 22 Jump Street. This is another kind of all-in-one picture. And the guys on the inlay. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. And this is another steel book that actually has that double play as part of the book. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, all the back, which is normally a slip cover, is, is the steel box, so all of that standardness is the actual back cover, fortunately. But a really nice inlay, you can make that out. Old Caribbean and ships fighting each other. Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Front and back, and this just has some kind of posters in the back. Ghostbusters, the original. Nice steel box. These are really, really good ones. I had to pick these up. Kind of a comic booky feel to them. There we are. It's our full picture. And the second one, obviously, Ghostbusters 2. So back. And again, this opens up to the bigger picture look at that river of ooze slime really like these they're pretty cool and then the new ghostbusters so yeah this actually came with a magnet of the ghost on the front which is on my fridge there's the back and the new team of ghostbusters with the ghost on the inside edward scissorhands The brighter inlay of his cuttings. Super 8. The 8mm film down the sides. Men in Black 3. Got Will Smith there on the front. Tommy Lee Jones on the back. And the Bugler Dice on the inside. Final Destination 5 basic back just the bridge on the inside Sweeney Todd one of my first um, steel books and again that is part of the steel book Sweeney Todd in the chair on the inside dark shadows uh, depth on the back and the cast on the inside after earth not a great film, I will admit. But not a bad steel book. There's our inlay. Pirates of the Caribbean, Salazar's Revenge. This had a couple of name changes as well. Shipwreck on the back. Nice inlay though, the cast of characters, all the pirates. The Dark Crystal, a film I've not seen since I was a kid. I've got it on VHS. Can't remember much about it. Not watched this yet. It's our back. It's pretty cool. And the inlay. Jason Bourne. Blank back. And Jason Bourne inside. Now this is the case I was on about, I got this one from Scott Adkins himself, uh, training seminar, so this Expendables 2, uh, that is the back of the steel book, and this is actually a German version of the, uh, the film, the German version steel book, should I say. The film is still in English, it's just what they had over there, there's a cast inside, so it's nice to get this one from Scott himself, obviously sharing my namesake. So yeah, that's an extra edition of that one. 300, Rise of the Empire, of an empire. Even on the back, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool inlay there, 
the Spartan attacking the ships. Transformers, The Last Night, more of a comic booky kind of cartoony feel to it. A nice back of the uh, headed dragon. And the enemy wanted bots on the inside, Optimus and Bumblebee. And our last one, War for Planet of the Apes. That's pretty nice. Symbol on the back. And the apes riding through the snow on the inlay. So big thanks to anyone who's made it right to the end there. As a reward, if you like. Something else that people have been asking me about is this, which is sitting on my back shelf. And it's the Inception Special Edition. Which isn't necessarily a steel book, but does come with a, not, a lot of nice extras. So I'm going to show you what's inside this edition. So it comes in an actual case that they use in the film. If you've uh, seen it, awesome film. If you've not seen it, check it out. And there we are. So we have our film. So we have the film in kind of a holographic case instead, but it is just a standard film. And inside we have a working manual of how their uh, machine works to send them into the dream. Along with some nice art cards or postcards if you like. And we have the spinner, spinner from the film. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool addition. Let me just say Inception there on the spinner. So thanks for watching guys, hit us with a like if you've enjoyed this, let me know in the comments what your favourite steelbooks were, and if you have any of these, what steelbooks do you have that I don't have. Uh, thanks for checking this out, and uh, subscribe for future videos, and we'll see you in the next one.